Hi guys, welcome to the unboxing and full review of this Modcam Solar Security Camera. That's a PTC battery powered security camera. This is solar panel. It has also a built in very large battery. So when the battery is fully charged from the solar panel and you don't have a lot of sun for many, many days or even weeks, it wouldn't be any problem. So this probably even would work on the North Pole for six months without any sun. Huge battery. I think it's the largest battery which I've ever seen with 15,000 milliamps. Uh, of course, it's uh, only a battery powered camera, so it's not comparable to a wired camera. We have some limitations. It's only working with PIR, uh, passive infrared, so it doesn't work through a window. And so it doesn't have like optical motion detection, but the good PIR camera can still work very good almost comparable to optical motion detection because we have PTC camera we can move it around like turn it around 360 degrees up and down but it doesn't have like a motion tracking or so this is only possible when we have a wired camera but I would say it has everything what we can expect with a battery operated solar powered camera and so let's take it out of the box and see what we get so first here we see the solar panel, I would say nicely built, looks everything sturdy, comes with a very long cable which is also very helpful, so sometimes you want to have a camera in a certain place but you don't have any sun, so it's important to have a long cable so you can put the solar panel in a good position to get plenty of sun, then we get this instruction manual which describes everything and here we get the camera itself, very beautiful camera, one of the most most beautiful cameras which I've ever seen so far really nice comes also with a very convenient mount so this mount you secure it on a wall and then you can put the camera on top here and you secure it just with these four simple screws here which comes also in the packaging you get even this extra charging cable but usually we are using the one from the solar panel of course and here's the mount for the solar panel itself. What I like is that we have a lot of plastic because this is holding up usually much better than metal. So the more plastic we have, the longer it will live. And here you can see we have the PIR sensor, we have the camera, and we have the floodlight, I mean the assistant light. It's not a huge floodlight, but it can definitely help to make the image much better. And then we have two openings. We have one of the openings here on the camera itself. And here we have to uh, add a micro SD card. It's not included. So I'm adding here a good class 10 good brand 32 gigabytes storage card i mean this will last almost forever because with the battery operated cameras we do not have like a 24 7 recording it's only a recording when it detects some motions so such a storage card will last for months or almost for years to keep your footage to insert the micro sd card we have to point the pins towards the camera like this and then we just push it inside if you want to release it you push again so it's very easy to take it out again here we have the power button and here the reset. What I love here is that we have a really solid lid and the lid is attached to the camera so we can't lose it. So we close it again here to make it waterproof. And down here we have the port for the charge. We have this large port here which you can use like inside and we have this inner side like smaller opening here which is very convenient so we can use any kind of stand micro USB plug and it's still waterproof and also the solar panel has this uh, normal standard micro USB plug. This is very very good. A lot of solar powered cameras have their dedicated ports and uh, plugs and then it's very difficult to buy something if you need a replacement. This is much better here. So we give it an initial charge with the provided micro USB cable and we can see the red light that it's charging. But of course you can already turn it on and connect it to the app. I think we have to long press here on the power button. Let's see if we can get uh, another light. Yeah, here we see the red light here on the side. I think it's ready to pair. So let's click on the plus icon here in the cloud edge. App. And here we have definitely a battery camera, I would say. Let's click on that. So we have already powered it on. Let's click on next, next. Now we are connecting this camera to the 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi of your 
internet service provider router or any router which you want to use and I highly recommend to be already connected to the same 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi network with your phone now while you are connecting later you can connect your phone with any kind of network also 5G or you can use GSM or whatever you want to use you can access your footage uh, out of your home when you're on the road absolutely no problem but while you're connecting it it's very important to be on the same 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi and it has to be the same which you want to connect the camera later on. So you select the Wi-Fi of your router, then provide the password, click on next and then we are getting a QR code. We have to hold it in front of the camera. So let's hold it here. If it doesn't work or if it took too long then just use the reset button here it will always be a good idea if you have problems to connect okay I got some uh, audible information I think it has been recognizing the QR code so let's click on next let's see if we get the connection here okay successfully added really nice here and so you can see we have already an image here I can move around the camera and you can see the image already and so we have it already here in the overview we can click on live view uh, we can make this image even a little bit larger of course it's now turned around but you can see how this works so we can use the PTC function here and move the camera you can see it here how it's moving left and right and up and down this is exactly how it will work then outside as well and we have also the function here for the light and you can see it's super strong I mean it's not like a normal floodlight but still it's very strong it can illuminate a lot so I've mounted camera now outside it was definitely not a big deal it just took me a couple of minutes and you can see how nice this is attached to I mean I have it here on a tree but it could be a wall fence uh, whatsoever it's really very easy to uh, mount and then attach the uh, cable to the camera to have it always charged so you can see really nicely here yeah I love this construction with only four screws so you don't need any help you can do this easily uh, on your own then here we are on the app again that's the cloud edge app it's one of the most advanced apps regarding surveillance cameras i love the thing there's just one thing there's no free cloud available here you would have to pay subscription for a cloud support and even then you don't get uh, like a combined timeline but the good thing is that you can combine a lot of different cameras from many different uh, manufacturers so you're not stuck with only one manufacturer or one model you can combine a lot of different cameras here uh, on just one app this is a huge advantage as you can see I have many different cameras here already on this app and it's also one of the most advanced apps when it comes to functions I'll show you that later but what we have here is this messaging thing which shows all the messages of all the cameras which you have and you can also share them uh, here directly so at least this is something what you have but you will have to click on it you can't directly see the uh, like the preview so here we can see the last footage or the last recording was yesterday 9 28 we can click on that and then we can directly see the footage and another big advantage of the cloud edge app is that it works with windows emulation like windows 10 windows 11 emulation so you can use all the functions not only from your mobile phone but also on your windows pc so again definitely one of the best apps for me now we want to see some details we click on here we get to the live view we have three different tabs here in the live view of course we can choose from different uh, resolutions of course I suggest to go to full HD that's uh, 1080p and you can see the quality is definitely really good you can even increase the size and you can see a lot of details we have nice colors 
we have good dynamic range so a lot to see here of course here i have the camera a little bit far away from the route so it's definitely the better option to only use st as you can see so we have like a smooth uh, continuous video here but if you have a very good reception you can also go to full hd and then of course important here what we can do we can shoot directly an image from here if you see something you can start recording also a video that directly from here so when we stop it it will also be saved then we can share it directly from here we can use the microphone speaker to talk to somebody we can use the PTC functions to move the camera around yeah, I think here we are on the maximum on the left side so let's go to the right side and see how far we can get so here we are somewhere in the middle let's go to the right side and you can see there's definitely uh, 360 degrees or very close to that so very impressive range what you can cover but of course it doesn't have like a automatic tracking like all other battery operated surveillance cameras it does only cover the area which you have set like if you have set it here it will cover this area or if you move it to this position here it will then cover this area it's just your choice here when we have the camera positioned like that we can see that we have perfect 90 degrees angle because the camera is uh, perfectly in the corner you can see the left side here and also the right side maybe I have to move a little bit here but i would say it's pretty much a 90 degrees angle which works perfectly if you have the camera in a corner so you can observe the whole area then let's go to the settings and the settings are really really sophisticated there's a lot of information there's also signal strengths which you see and of course you want to turn on the alert notifications it has even the installation guide you can share the device we have this indicator light which shows that the camera is working that's also helpful outside time setting image setting you can even mount it on a ceiling or so or, and then flip the screen that's also very helpful sound setting you can see you have the microphone a record voice speaker even speaker volume which you can set and then the alarm management i have left it on six which is the default and it has been working absolutely phenomenal i will show you that later uh, when i show you some footage we have even two alarm working modes like a power saving mode or performance mode or we can even choose the uh, customized mode where we can turn on the human detection day and night we can choose from different recording times and even have some cool down periods if you have the impression that it will cause too many false alerts but this is absolutely not the case with this camera it's absolutely not needed because it's perfectly recording this is one of the big advantages here of this camera but again i will show you that later also alarm area this is something which is not available in a lot of different apps this is very sophisticated so what you can do you can exclude some areas here which could cause some false alerts maybe i could even add this area here but you can see on top here there are a lot of different areas which could cause some false alerts and so i have excluded them but of course i could take them back if i want but i definitely don't want because there are these trees and branches and everything and also this thing here so i leave it like that maybe yeah okay i go with this thing here there shouldn't be any false alerts here and so it's just covering this area which you can see here and the yellow area is excluded and this works absolutely perfect so this is a huge thing huge advantage i have saved it now let's leave it again uh, what we can also do is some have some audio warning and strobe light if you want but of course the audio warning will be very loud the strobe light would be okay but i don't want to have the audio warning uh, and disturb neighbors so i leave it like that here we have also very sophisticated battery management you can see even a lot of statistics you can see it's currently charging with the solar panel so you can do a lot of analysis about the power supply and charging it's very very good 
Then we have the recording management, see the capacity uh, within our own event recording. And here we can uh, subscribe to some cloud storage service. I'm on the seven day trial period and uh, I have activated uploading the videos. What's also good that we can restart uh, this device if you think you have any problems you can restart the device but so far no problems from my side so again here we have the live view where you can take a screenshot start recording also from here use the intercom use ptc have activated the motion detection we can even use the direct light from here but we can also check the history. We have two possibilities here. We can check uh, in the cloud history. If you have subscribed to that, you can choose from any date or so. So because it's saying uh, there's nothing on this day, we can go back to yesterday. Click on that. Let's go to yesterday and we see there's some footage and it has only detected motion and nothing else. You can see here these five things have been recorded nothing else so absolutely no false alerts zero false alerts that's absolutely awesome so we can check this footage here from the night yeah it takes a little bit of time should be ready anywhere close let's play yeah it seems to have some problem in the cloud and so let's click on the local uh, history from the micro sd card we can go to the calendar and check and you can see there's absolutely nothing here so absolutely no false alerts already here for the whole day and this is good i mean i haven't been in front of the camera so it's perfect to have no footage for today but we can go back to yesterday and here we can get the list of all the events from yesterday you can see i have a couple of things here already from the day and here you can see it has been detecting me already when i came just around the corner this is absolutely awesome so the detection level is very very good for a battery operated camera this is as good as it gets and we can also check some footage for the night so you can see that here it starts always uh, black and white uh, of course it's depending on your settings i have set it to uh, have the assisted white light so it turns into colorful footage after some time we can even increase that and so we have the full size and you can see it has even a really nice color here during the night also another footage from the day you can see how nice this is and really good recording really good quality so this is playing from the micro sd card of course it's depending on how good the connection is to your wireless router if you have the wi-fi router very far away then of course it's a little bit slow but you still can take like live image or you can record from here so if you want to record here something and then share with somebody you would have to click here on this camera I can and you can see it starts recording we can stop then here again and it will save it then in your album and you can share it directly from here very easy so these alerts and recordings are super impressive of course you can also use this timeline here if you like but sometimes it's easier to use this thing here yeah again super impressive actually zero false alerts yeah there was not a, a single false alert so if you're worried about false alerts and this is very important to minimize false alerts then this is the perfect camera for you it's very hard to find any kind of battery operated surveillance camera with this kind or this level of accuracy so i can give you full recommendation and so i'll put down the link to the amazon listing down into the description so you can check it out and order it right from there if you like it and hope you've been able to help you a little bit with this video if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below i'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching see you next time